I don't think there'll probably be a better show in London town uh, in this century. It's absolutely glorious. It was stunning. It's just a, a gag fest. I loved it. Awesome. Fabulous. It's an absolute triumph. David Mitchell's performance was very, very exciting. Almost erotically so. It's gorgeous. Really well staged and really well put together and really fun. Kind of makes you want to go and see a Shakespeare play as well. I'm booking to see it tomorrow and the day after and all the matinees, I will never see another show. David Mitchell's amazing, Gemma Whelan, amazing. Gag after gag after gag. It was an absolutely glorious night. Ben Elton, as we all adore him, the humour, the precision, the performances, I'm so glad I was here. It's the funniest thing I've seen in the theatre since I don't know when. I laughed like a drain. Ben writes brilliant, wordy lines for me. And they're hard to remember, but they're worth remembering. He's given me this terrific comic material to stand on a platform and benefit from. There are certain jokes in it that I find myself laughing at randomly as I go about my day. I've come for the third time, probably of 23, and it's still funny. Funny, witty, incredibly current, with a few surprises thrown in at the end. It's really good to see Ben Elton back in the West End like this, because he writes really good plays. His writing is so tight and so brilliant, which we know anyway, but it's so clever and the laughs are just like one, two, three, like so many hits per minute just coming at you. It addressed some of the issues of today in an interesting way. I guess it's a very woke version of what Shakespeare's life might have been. If you love Shakespeare, brilliant, you get them gags. If you hate Shakespeare, you get those gags as well. But I think if you hadn't seen the TV show, you would still, you get it. I would challenge anybody to cast this sitcom or this play better. Knew it would be brilliant and it bloody well is.